Alright. So we're gonna react to Beer doing a meatball sub challenge in Chicago. Got a knock. It's 50 bucks if he wins, so pretty good. We'll tell y'all Chicago is very beautiful in the city. Like everywhere around there was pretty dope to see. Um, while we were in the city, it was really nice. So there's a tall tower around here. I don't know which one it is. I don't know if it's this one over here or that one or this one. But one of those towers, you can go all the way up to the top and you go to a place called Sky Bar. You get a bar, you get a drink, you get a bar. You go to a bar, you can get a drink. And then they'll, you know, there's like an event or whatever you can do. Um, they'll put you on a ledge. And it's like glass through it. And the glass can hold up to like, you know, tens of thousands of pounds. Right. And it won't break. But they'll let you lean forward. Like it'll lean forward. And you kind of like be looking down into the city. And Lady Okage was like, oh, we should do that. Da, da, da. No. Heck no. Not doing that. Not me. I'm afraid of heights. So this is Chicago, eh? It's nice. I do not find it to be the least bit windy. Although, probably this cap is super windy in there. Shout out to all my people that live in Chicago too. It will contribute to an increase in atmospheric wind. Once I'm finished with today's challenge, this is the place, Fontano Subs. Let's do it. I'm here to do, there's like a, a giant meatball sub challenge. Is that okay? Yeah. I said, okay. Just casually. I didn't okay. It's a shop. <laughs> yes, it's a little. It's like a deli. Yeah, it's cool. A mom pa shop. Yeah. The best kind. The best yeah. kind. All right, here we go. Are right, you up for the meatball challenge? Eat a three-foot homemade meatball sandwich with cheese. And three hour. feet and long. Receive the for free. Wins also received a fifty-dollar Fontano's gift card, a T-shirt, and your foot on the Fontano's Wall of Fame. I love that it's basically a grocery store. And uh, yeah, it's a, a little deli. bodega. So there's a food challenge. It's a little janky, but it's got a lot of charm. I like it. Uh, one meatball challenge, please. It's a three foot long meatball sub. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have one hour to do it? One hour. Dang! Sub. Look at the size of the meatballs, bro. Those are huge. Like, they break it up. We saw it already, but like, dang! One hour to do it? One hour to do it. And if you, um, you can't get up. Uh, out of yeah. your seat, you could just stand up and, you know, in the same spot. If you feel like you're getting nauseous, if you feel like. <laughs> You're gonna gag. If you're gag, you're disqualified. Okay. And if you're feeling sick, please let me know. So like that, <laughs> we don't want I you don't to make get a messy sick. restaurant. I get it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Sick. We had a, an incident before that the guy threw up behind the customer, <laughs> and he had his headphones and his computer, and it was not a nice scene. He was very upset because he had all throw up in the back. So. I, I, I oh, that. <laughs> that's you, gross. You get, free and you get you, a T-shirt. You get a fifty-dollar uh, gift card uh, cash, and then you get a T-shirt that you conquer the the, the Fontano's meatball challenge. Awesome. All right, I get a little sneak preview here. This is big, really big. Oh, it's coming. That's huge. <laughs> but he's carrying it like a freaking. Right, good luck. Have fun. Thank you. I don't even you know what to, to say, going? what to compare it to. <laughs> Can we give you one hour. Okay. Uh, to complete the meatball challenge. Uh, if you feel any sick, if you gag or throw up or thumbs up. <laughs> um, you are disqualified. If you feel sick or anything, please uh, just let us know so we don't want you getting. <laughs> I get it. I, nobody wants to see that. I know. I know. All right, which I think right now, from where we're at right now, is he going to complete this sub? This is a big sub, as y'all see. You know what I'm saying? It's huge, and then my freaking my cam is covering you know some of it, but like, bro, look at that. We still got a little bit there. I think, I think he got it. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of bread, though. I think Beer got it. Like, ah, right, y'all, y'all, let me know before we before he even starts. Oh no, no, no! Fontano subs in Little Italy on Polk Street and Carpenter. I think that's what she said. I might have should have started this early because the meatballs are really soft. You're allowed to cut it before the timer starts in case anyone thinks I'm cheating. Go ahead, start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are we gonna need it? Yeah, after the event. He's just taking it on regular. 
this fella's curious. Yeah, after last week's debacle, we could probably use a bit of luck. Not least because this sucker weighs in at seven pounds, apparently. Let's go, so beard. Wait, of a freshly born, healthy wee humanoid. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to the episode. We're in Chicago today at Fontana Subs, where they offer this now legendary provocation of gurgitation. And if you can finish it within one hour, not only is the meal free, but you it get... It looks good. I'm not going to lie. I like meatball subs. ...on the signage, but they changed it to offer cash money. Something about a handy. meatball sub is just fire, oh, man. Thank you. Godspeed, man. Oh, man. You said that already, you dweeb. <laughs> look at that. that. That's a bold look. I love how meat... Uh, 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 I almost said I love how meat... I said I love how beard... Freaking just, just when he's commentating on himself, he's called himself stupid or just idiot or whatever. Slick. It's hilarious. Okay. Are you ready to eat the whole thing? I'm gonna do my best. That's a lot of people coming in and out. This bodega. Yeah, I couldn't even eat a a, a fourth of that. <laughs> Now there's a man as honest as he is stylish. Lots of characters in here today. Always makes things more fun. Oh. That's a crazy place to have a little challenge at. Imagine like Which having a... Probably slightly smaller than the remaining two. Uh, I think it's just like equivalent to just going into New York and be like, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese really, really and good. just eat it in front of everybody. They're good, right? We had these before. Yeah. Like... There are more a lot. in the middle. It's kind of uh, centrally loaded. I mean, it seems Maybe like I was tripping about that comparison. To load a sandwich, which is going to be really difficult to carry from the kitchen. Oh no, the guy, the, the, that dude is he's leaving. I was kind of hoping he'd stick around for maybe a few more witty asides. Sadly not. Hey. That's really good. <laughs> They're big on table manners here. Come on, bro. I like <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I suppose given the story she told a few minutes ago, you can see why. Imagine sitting there minding your own business. On your he is screen, running through this. This is seven minutes in, and later, he's more than halfway done. Throws up all over you. She's I'm impressed. Great job. Still a long way to go. Almost 66.6% .6 of the way through. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Do you have any, like, cheese sauce or anything like that? Any kind of creamy sauce? Is it okay for me to get up and get a drink? Yeah, can I get the... Uh, like a anything diet and fizzy, like a Pepsi Max fizz, but no no sugar. Diet Pepsi, okay? Diet Pepsi, yeah, I'm you know trying to stay healthy. <laughs> Thank you, thanks. I don't know how many times I've I've done that joke while filming, but like it's, it, it has to be over hundred. Right, come on. A little cheese sauce on this would have been perfect. Yeah, indeed. Ooh, this fellow looks a bit shifty. What do you reckon? Curious bystander or? Cur why is he calling all these people out like that, bro? Like, beard, that's violating. He's <laughs> like, oh, look, look at this guy. You know? On the run. But that would be me, though. I would definitely be looking at the dude's camera. Nah, money playing. But I wouldn't just sit there and look at it. I'd be making, like, faces yeah, like. Right. Come on. All right, down to the final third. And a good, what, 48 minutes left? I'm doing all right here. There you go. Yeah? Oh, thank you. I did, yeah, I just came over from Canada, yeah. All right. Good luck. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. I know you can do it. Yeah, oh, thank you, thanks. <laughs> if I get really busy, just yell it out, I'm done. Okay, thank you. In case you're wondering how big the meatballs are, that's how big they are. That's a and pretty decent sized meatball. These are the best meatballs I've ever had. Serious. Serious. Straight up. Straight up, governor. Wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. Quite the compliment, although at the risk of tarnishing it, I am no meatball connoisseur. Actually, I think the ones that come in a can are pretty good, but these ones are, you know, proper homemade Italian-style thingies. What? 
He said he thinks the ones that come in a can are pretty good. It'll be moist. Flip yeah, don't trust this meatball. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll catch you next one. This meatball, uh, whatever that, whatever word I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what word I'm trying to use. I want my mouth also, you never know what's going to happen, you know? <laughs> All right, this is Bimmy's food, and that was Fontano's three foot sub challenge. Just about beating Oh, thank you. Way to go. There's a little bit of sauce on my hand, I apologize. I don't it's care. delicious though, I, I mean, if you want a little snack this on the way home. <laughs> the meatballs, yeah. best, honestly, best I've had. Good. Nice. They're incredible. So easy to eat, they were delicious. I've been coming to this place like 20 years. Yeah? yeah. It's yeah. nice to meet you. Last time I saw you, you were in the UK at a pub. Yeah. A lot of fries. That sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> this is one of those times when you kind of step back and think, how did that actually fit inside me? Because I remember how big it looked at the start. Must have been hungry. <coughs> He's waiting for that fitting. Oh, oh, thank you. Seven pounds in 18 minutes. I've been pretty tired. Seven pounds? That wasn't bad. Purple? Oh, man, that's cool. Yeah, I don't have many of those. Thank you very much. Meatball challenge. Just eat it. I did. Didn't ask. Oh, <laughs> we pay you for eating it. Oh, you can keep that. No, we can we pay you for eating it. Uh, Spend it in the store. Spend it in the store. I'm not taking it off of these people. Nah, no worries, man. All right, I didn't have too much in the way of dessert, so I got a cookie. Because apparently it's freshly baked, and I can smell my oh. beer. Freshly it. baked cookie. Oh, I was going to say, just use two hands. They do taste good. I had to have the cookie. They're home, homemade, apparently. Oh, that's delicious. What do you reckon? Wrong hand. That was pitiful. How good is this shirt, by the way? You don't often get winners' shirts in purple. Love it. Can I get another one of those cookies? I told you. They're yummy. I told you. One more. <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't just have one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy.